Okay, time for another Destroy Humans news video. Two in one day. Last time I had two in one day, I think it was back in E3 when the game was first announced. Anyway, this is a new gameplay video that shows the mission foreign correspondent. Frame rate for this cutscene was not that smooth, but that was on IGN's part. Mina, who is part of the dev team, said that the cutscene was not laggy for her. The cutscenes will be in 30 FPS for some technical reasons, but the gameplay will be 60. What's known in this cutscene is the crackpot human sees crypto and pox from a distance and gets excited. Pox is also a lot more animated here. I really hope they remake the rest of the games so we could see more hollow pox animations like this. I'm gonna play this cutscene, I'm just gonna have a side by side comparison. We seem to have put a dent into Majestic's mind control efforts, but they won't stay down for long. However, if we can harness the massive power of television... We could brainwash the whole country. We can easily transmit our signal on normal television frequencies. All we require is a suitable guise, a persona the humans will trust. My research indicates one possibility. A human television presenter called Bert Wither. But he's made himself scarce. Perhaps he got wind of what you did to Sleepy Ernst. Forgive my impertinence, but you are an alien, are you not? How'd you guess? I knew it! I knew it! My prayers have been answered! On behalf of all the nations of the Earth, I welcome you to our planet, O oh friend from another world. Means a lot. Enough chit-chat! We need to find Bert Wither. Where is he, pathetic crackpot human? You want Bert Wither? You got him. Follow me. The beginning of this mission is pretty much the same as the original, except it looks a lot better. A new side objective for this mission is to get five different hints from the nerd. New voice line from Crypto. He sounds like he's doing the Majestic Agent voice here, though. That Bert Wither guy's gotta be around here somewhere. Here's a new cutscene of Crypto trying to get inside the base to find Bert Wither. I don't remember this cutscene at all from the original game. Food for Mr. Wither. Hold it right there, boy -o. not so fast. I need to see some proof you are who you say you are. Like what? Like answer, smart guy. What is your name? Carmine the cook, you want to move this along? What is your quest? To deliver this food to Bert Wither. Okay, you passed. And next time, how about a little garlic bread for your friendly neighborhood Flatfoot, huh? The soldier has the same voice as the cops for some reason, and he even refers to himself as a cop. Anyway, we get to see the inside of this base now, and it is amazing. I just want to explore this whole place. And there is a probe hidden inside this place, so that makes me think that we could just go in this whenever we want during free roam. There's also some pretty funny dialogue saying, yeah, he's upstairs. Where is the Salisbury steak from Mr. Wither? He's starving! Is it that hard to find him up the stairs on the second floor of the docks? Crypto hypnotizes Bert Wither to follow him. He really does look like a mindless drone when he follows Crypto around. Also, there's some heart particles floating around his head indicating that he's following Crypto. Now, these particles do look a bit excessive, but um, I don't really mind it that much, to be honest. I know some people won't really like this, but to me, it's not really that game-changing. Crypto switches weapons without opening the weapon wheel. Simply tapping the weapon wheel button will do this, much like Path of the Furon. The mission ends differently than the original game. In the original game, you had to walk all the way to the saucer to abduct him. But now, you just exit the base, and the saucer will be summoned to Crypto and Bert. So the saucer abducts Bert, and Crypto also enters the saucer. Then, the base gets destroyed, as we've seen in the last video. Mission complete screen pops up, and this mission will reward you with 25 DNA and new artwork to be seen in the archives section of the mothership. 
Okay, so that wraps up this video. It was probably kind of short, and I probably could have just had one big video for today, but instead I made two just for more options for viewers. Perhaps you don't want to watch the trailers, so you just watch this video. Or maybe you just want to watch the trailers, you don't care for the gameplay, so you just don't watch this video. Either way, I'm going to wrap up this video. The game's only less than a month away for the release. I will be live streaming it when it releases on the Xbox, because I got the pre-order on there, it gives the two-day early access. You know what I mean. Anyway, um... <laughs> Bye.